Club Express Volunteering, User Sign-Up, and Member History. The volunteering function allows a club to post volunteering opportunities for which members and optionally non-members can sign up. These might be for helping out at club events, cleanup or maintenance of the club's facilities, performing periodic or seasonal tasks, or helping in the office. This video covers volunteering from the user point of view. It demonstrates how members and non-members can view and sign up for volunteering opportunities and how members can manage their signups and view a history of their volunteering and optionally of the hours worked. The companion video called Volunteering Administration goes into detail about how administrators and coordinators configure the system, create volunteering opportunities and time slots, and track attendance. We're currently logged into one of our demo clubs as a regular member. Volunteering has been placed on the member's menu, and when clicked, it displays the Volunteering Opportunities screen. It shows upcoming opportunities, including the opportunity title and date, links to volunteer, and how many spots are available. Up to 10 opportunities are shown at a time, and if there are more available, paging controls are displayed. Opportunities are shown in ascending order based on the start date. A club can also define opportunities not linked to a specific date, for example, paint the clubhouse, and these will be listed first. You can also filter and reorder the list. Click the search tool icon to display a search screen. Searches can be performed by date, category, and name, and the results can be sorted by date or name. When a volunteering opportunity is linked to an event in the calendar, two things happen. The event title appears as a link on the volunteering opportunities page. Clicking this link jumps to the event that the opportunity is linked to. A volunteer button appears on the events detail page. Clicking this button jumps over to the volunteering opportunities page to show the needs and available slots for that specific opportunity. When you click the view more link, the opportunity expands to show the location, including an optional Google Map link, and contact information for the opportunity coordinator, as well as the individual time slots. A volunteering opportunity might cover multiple days, with multiple slots within a day, each of which needs multiple people, each of whom might be doing different tasks. For example, this balloon club hosts a weekend fly-in event. It needs volunteers on Friday to set up the tables, configure the vendor area, and several other tasks. On Saturday and Sunday, it needs volunteers to staff the registration desk in four-hour shifts. And after the event ends on Sunday, it needs volunteers to break down the setup and clean the area. Each slot has a date and time range, the specific tasks that's needed to be performed, how many people are required, and how many people have already volunteered. Optionally, you may see a Who link, allowing you to pop up a list of the people that have already been assigned. Clicking View Less hides the detailed information. Volunteering opportunities can also be made available to non-members. For non-members to view opportunities, the volunteering module itself must be configured as available to everyone, and individual opportunities also need to be flagged as available to everyone. Let's log out and look at the opportunities. Now we only see opportunities that are available to everyone. When the volunteering opportunity is open to non-members and you're not logged in, clicking Volunteer Yourself option displays a screen where the system prompts you for your first name, last name, phone, and email address. It may also ask you a question that's unique to this volunteering opportunity. For example, your t-shirt size, so you can look like part of the team. Below that is a grid showing the available opportunity slots. Because we're not logged in as a member, we see only a subset of the slots those that are available to everyone. So we see only the setup and cleanup slots and not those for staffing the registration desk. Click the register checkbox to register yourself for this slot. Instead of finishing this sign up, let's look at the opportunities when logged in as a regular member. Jenny has a family membership with a secondary member, her spouse, and tertiary members, their children, attached to her account. So Jenny can see all opportunities and all slots. Here she wants to sign up herself, some family members, another member, and a friend to volunteer for various fly-in tasks. When you're logged in, the system already knows who you are, so your first and last name are already filled in. 
You can choose any of the phone numbers already stored with your profile or enter another number. And if you select other, you can enter any phone number. Your preferred email is filled in and it too can be changed. The grid of available slots may be slightly different depending on which slots are available for members and non-members. When you click the Next button, you're taken to the Summary screen. At this point, your volunteering is not yet complete. You still need to click the Finish button to complete the process, and this must be done within 30 minutes, otherwise your assignments will be deleted. Three buttons in the top right corner allow you to volunteer another member, a family member, or a non-member such as a friend who might be interested in joining you. Whether these buttons appear or not depends on various settings for that opportunity. Add another member only appears if the opportunity has been configured to allow members to sign each other up. It does not appear when a non-member is signing up. Add a family member only appears for members, and then only if the current member has a membership that includes additional people. And add non-member only appears if the opportunity allows non-members to volunteer. Clicking one of these buttons jumps back to a version of the first screen allowing you to add the appropriate person. When adding another member, you're prompted for the first name and email address. This information is checked against the database, and if a match was found, the other fields are displayed. When adding a family member, you'll see a drop-down list of the members attached to your membership. Select one, and the other fields are displayed. When adding a non-member, you're prompted for the volunteer's information. Now back at the summary screen. For each volunteer, you can click the edit icon to modify that person's slots or the delete icon to remove that person and his or her slots. As noted, if your group is volunteering together, the whole process must be completed within 30 minutes of starting, otherwise any slot assignments up to that point are deleted. This provision protects popular opportunities and allows all members a chance to volunteer. Each person in your group will receive a confirmation email with their assignments and another reminder email the day before the assignments. After clicking Finish, the volunteering information is recorded. A member can see his or her volunteering commitments and history by going to the profile page and clicking on Volunteering. A member can see the upcoming slots as well as slots that have already passed. By default, only the opportunities from the past 12 months are displayed, but this can be expanded to show 24 months or all opportunities. If any of the volunteering opportunities have been configured to track volunteer hours and the member has been marked as attended, the combined volunteering time is displayed and you can see the details by expanding the items below the table. So now you've seen how members and non-members can sign up for volunteering opportunities and time slots, and how members can track their participation. If you're an administrator or coordinator, please watch the companion video for details on administering volunteering. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.